if Donald Trump can't handle Ted Cruz and John Kasich, how is he supposed to handle Ayatollah Khamenei in Iran, Xi Jinping in China, and Vladimir Putin in Russia? Not to mention all of the bankers, all of the oil companies, all of everybody that's part of the establishment machine that runs pretty much everything. How is he supposed to handle all of these things that need dire attention if he can't even get his campaign in order and make sure that he is not uh, disadvantaged in that department? He can't have any excuses in this because if you really want some change to this rotten political system, then you are going to have to admit that if Donald Trump assumes the office of the presidency and starts to uh, rack up a series of failures in that department, then he is going to bring those who supported him into disrepute and say that those supporters were naive in believing that such change was possible. Now, Donald Trump has made many, many mistakes in his campaign. He's garnered a lot of followers, but he did not take seriously any uh, contenders in the political establishment, um, they, their machinery, that is. He did not make sure that he had delegate counters. He did not make sure that he had on-the-ground uh, mobilization. He did not make sure that <clears throat> he was uh, one step ahead of some of the media narratives, What one of which was the abortion one, which just kind of set everything kind of split. He, he, he can't do that. He has to present uh, a unified agenda with, without a lot of uh, crumbling foundation. And if he assumes the presidency, then this is not going to bode well for that prospect. He must, must succeed in government as well as can the campaign. If you support him as more than a protest candidate, and if he is a protest candidate, then he'll just represent, you know, the last stand, which proves that every, that all of his supporters are naive and, and not bright. So you can't just support him as a protest candidate, you have to support him all the way. If he fails in government, then he will be, he will represent the failure of those who sympathize with his perspective on, on policies and on uh, politics. He cannot let those people down. He has to succeed, and he has to be able to take on all of the machines that the establishment uses in order to push their weight. He has to make sure that he has his own weight, his own counterweight to push back at them. If he doesn't, then this will 
be in reality the establishment ultimately attaining more credibility, not less. That can't happen. Don't let it happen. And make sure that all of the ducks are in a row before he assumes the presidency. Sorry to bum everybody out, but that's just the reality.